Insane baby jump. Well, fall damage isn't a hit, but I died, so. Wow. Yeah, I should have just fast traveled. I'm pretty sure I would have been able to. I just didn't. Like, when I did that, I didn't think to fast travel out. Well, this game has a weird thing with jumps where... Like, you, you do get baby jumps in this game. But... Like, you know when it's gonna happen. It's just such a weird fucking thing. So, look. So, when I'm... So, when I'm just sprinting and then jumping... Uh... Right, so we get like a full distance jump there, right? But if I try to if I try to jump, do it like a long range jump when I'm not sprinting for long enough. Like so that I mean that's not even the case, but so like I'll jump here, so full range, if I'm sprinting, and see how that jump is like way less. Like so you jump and then that jumps way less for some reason. I don't know why it's like that. But you need to like be sprinting for a few seconds before you can get a full range jump. And it's it's actually really annoying on Elden Beast too because he has like his triple ring attack, and you have you have to actually like delay your your jumps. You can't just like jump on a row for some fucking reason. I it feels like an oversight to me. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but it probably won't even fix it. I mean, I mean that's what just fucking killed me right there. I wasn't sprinting for long enough, and I get a baby jump. And I just waste like wow. Like that 47 minutes, man. Ah, that's brutal. That's fucking brutal, man. Yeah, you can fast travel in midair in this game, so. It'd be funny if they, like, patched it. Patched it out of the game. Fixed it. That'd be nice, man. Feels like it should... It feels like an oversight. Like I said, I'm fairly certain that is not intentional. Like, see, like, you actually have to be sprinting for a good amount of time. Look at that. Like, a whole second and a half, probably, of sprinting before you can do a real jump again. What a waste of time, though, that was. Wow. The pace. People don't bunny hop? What does that mean? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure on Elden Beast, the, they, they designed that attack to be just jumped over three times. And... That's why it feels like it's just a complete oversight to me. But you, I can play turning wood to aid you. You need own to the foot. Then it set summon me. Ah, I bequeath you. It will summon torrent. Treat him with.
I agree, Matt. Yeah, that's what it should be. Well, I, I mean, I guess I can understand needing a bit of momentum, but... Like, there's no way that you should be in a full sprint and then not get a full sprint jump. Made denless. <laughs> Like, there's just no reason why you should you should be sprinting and then not get a full jump. Yeah, I guess maybe new, but like you could just simply make jumps not fast. And even if even if that were true, like even if jumps were faster in this game, they would still be used to like you'd still use them, but you just couldn't use them as much, right? Like if they actually were faster than running. I thought last time he attacked when I did that. Warrior blood must truly run thy veins. Tarnished. Whoa. How did I stagger him so quickly again? One hand is just as faster. I, it's tightly guarded. The guard you breached. Well, but of course. That's what he said. <laughs> Some souls, mate. Got him. The gates. Open the gates. Man. Just brutal. Run's gonna be rent free in my head now, dude. The route's about 210. Rent free. Yeah, it would be like easily sub two hours, but I'm doing like I'm getting rot breath set up, which takes a long time. I'd love to remove that from my run, actually, but I, I don't know what else to do. Because I, I, I use it for one boss. Like I use it one time. Extra ten minutes of setup for like one fucking boss fight. Except. Fire Giant, if you're if you're not using something like that, or like magic or whatever, it can easily drag on 10 minutes. Like, it's just such a bad fight in phase two. I don't know, that's a good idea. Very simple, except it takes time. Like, if Fire Giant didn't exist, this run would be so much faster, dude. 
And there's got to be a better way than Rod Breath that's more efficient. I just, I don't know what it is. Even just like a, a ranged bleed spell would probably do the trick. You know? I think it's got to be a spell though. Like it, melee is just too bad for him. Maybe I should just fucking do it on this run. <laughs> Maybe I should just not skip Rot Breath. Why are this guy's eyes red? I'm glowing. Oh my god, dude. Master Dragon. Well, I but the thing is even if even if there was like a pickup of a dragon heart, it would still take a good amount of time to even just get to the dragon like chapel, you know? Like all of that takes so much time. So, if I could somehow get a good kill on Fire Giant without having to get Rot Breath, like some something that's quick to set up, then our, our run would be 10, 15 minutes shorter, basically. And then this whole setup split that we do would also be shorter because we don't have to kill this dragon and not having those souls from the dragon really does not matter or the runes like it, may, it basically makes no difference on the run I don't think like maybe we should spend some time trying to figure something out like it is such a good spell for him though I guess if I didn't use it, though, we would, our run would be no spells, too. It'd be kind of nice. Hello. Hmm. I don't know. Help me. I'm stuck. We should try some Hello? stuff. Hello. Oh, I am peace. I just give and I'll pop. Don't dally. Give it your all. Yeah, and swarm of flies isn't really an option. Well, I. Rot grease, maybe. I don't know. I haven't really tried it. Apparently, rot grease is like kind of bad though. Humans all lose their wits eventually. How could this? Was my whole existence. Got the run. Yeah, I guess so. But it won't matter after I get the run because I'm trying to make my resets more efficient. Yeah, like honestly, just any range spell for Fire Giant would be, would be decent. What's up, uh, Mugrin? Optimal ever? Well, I don't know about that. My first any percent was fucking pretty good. Not sure if it was optimal, but that was a pretty nice route. Definitely better than like a two hour setup before doing anything. And like I found the, like so many boss kills on that to make 
it runs so much easier. Like, the, the one thing I didn't have when I was doing any percent with that was... Like, if I was doing the sleep pot strategy for uh, Godskin Duo, my, the run would have been 100% free. Like, Godskin Duo was the hardest boss on that because I just kind of fought him, like, by hitting them through the pillars and stuff. If I was using the sleep pot strategy, like, there's literally nothing in the, in the run that could have hit me, for sure. Especially with the cheese on Radagon as well. I could be cheesing Radagon on this too, but I, I don't really want to. He's a cool boss. Despite having some, like, memes. Oh, uh, we just stun him with Flame of Red Mains. Elden Beast really shouldn't be a problem, but I made it to Elden Beast earlier today and fucking died, so. <laughs> Somehow. Not because of the strat, just because of bad RNG in combination with me not dealing with some attack correctly. thinking about fire giant though man maybe after this run we can test some stuff out because i would love to save some time except that might like i might have to test out like my gods can duo kill and stuff because we'd, we'd have lower levels shouldn't be like too big of a deal but it would just be nice to make sure that everything's still good i'm sure my Elden beast setup would still be the same because i actually am i actually could level up probably three more times than i will in the run just so that my damage works out So we would probably have to, like, test out some of those later fights. Because we'd be, you know, we'd have, like, probably three levels short or so. Seven hours on Elden Beast. I mean, he can be tricky. Like, if you don't have a super awesome build for him... Or like a ton of health. Like his his he's got attacks that are just pure bullshit, so. Like I I he's a very poorly designed boss. Uh, those are the splits, so like the boss order, I guess. Kind of like a checklist, I guess, and PB is personal best. Which is one currently. And I've also made it to the final boss. <laughs> today, which is the distance PB. Almost got as close as you can get to the run without actually getting it. Nearly. Even some of his other attacks, though, are kind of bullshit, though. Like... Everyone talks about Elden Stars, and Elden Stars are really bad, but he's also got just some other stupid shit. Like, that one... Like, the attack that hit me, I just don't understand that attack at all. Like, I just... I simply don't understand. Why would they make an attack like that? Like, yeah, here's this attack where if you're far away, you're okay, but if you're, if you're close, you're fine, but if you're, like the distance that you're kind of meant to dodge every attack from Elden Beast at, you fucking die. And you're just not going to be able to dodge it. I just, I really don't understand that attack at all.
Maybe it was with like all those hits there. Ah, oh, you fucking moron. Wow. Not doing the slam one, I guess. Yeah, you can just go there from like the lower part. I mean, can you even? I don't know. I guess you probably can. I I don't know how you get down there from like the upper. I forget what the area is called. It's like Nakron or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's a teleport there. No, I know. I like. I know how you get there, but I guess you're talking about the grief, yeah. But uh, like, can you even get down to that Dragonkin soldier without, or like from Nokron? I don't know the way. But yeah, I, I found that area from like just going beneath. Probably eat something pretty soon. Kind of hungry. <clears throat> well, you can skip Brandy Quest, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Well, Brandy's quest is, is supposed to be required for Forda Sacks, right? You have to... I forget what you have to do. You have to, like, get the dagger, and then you have to, like, bring it back, and then then you can access that, like... Where is it? Place over there. But you can just fly around it, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Horse walk it. But I was a could I ask that thug only if you've Oh what a bless a thug please. What part of her quest line do you need to get to Astol though? I can't remember. Yeah, Fortisax is also Fia, yeah.
But yeah, you do also need to do it for part of the Fortis X one. Yeah, but you still need to do the quest line though, right, Aram? But you can avoid you can avoid doing the double gargoyle fight, I think, right? Not really sure what's gonna be best for like no hit though. Double gargoyle is a really a cuck boss if you don't have super high damage. Even with the sword of night flame is kind of annoying. But yeah, going down to the sewer and stuff. Honestly, though, it might be worth going the other way. What's up, Ringers? Thanks, dude. Because getting Moog, you also get the Shackle, right? Which might be... Well, I don't know. I guess it's not really required. Might just be, like, useful, though. For a consistent skip potentially oh that's devastating night lobster yeah i mean i'm sure there's a good strategy though I mean, if the route uses sorcery, I mean, it's probably not even necessary then. Probably just walk into Moog and then fucking beam him and it's just over. It's gonna be like the Thundercock Beam version 2. I'm I'm very curious to see what route pe what routes people are gonna come up with like for rune level one and stuff. Because the runs that have been done so far for any percent have been all about the range, right? So I, I don't know if rune level one has that option. So maybe like might be like a pretty decent step up from those routes. I think this run prepares me perfectly for rune level one though. Like all melee kills and stuff. lower damage. I do the quest because it's a fast way to get into Volcano Manor. Do you get rune level 1? Probably. You can basically use anything at rune level 1, so maybe that would just be the strategy. <clears throat> You can use almost every single weapon in the game <laughs> at rune level one. Let's go on clamps. Well, I 
presume. Oh, I am an old courier, perhaps. Oh, the runs are honestly like pretty good. I've had I've done three runs today. I got to I got hit before I got hit before Malaketh on the fucking tree sentinel. And then I got to Elden Beast. I got fucking like trash meme tier RNG on him and died. And then last run, I fucking jumped off of a ledge in Volcano Manor. Except at least that one wasn't that far in. Uh, hey, thanks for the 500 bits, dude. I appreciate it. Yeah, I, I like I got fucking totally memed by Elden Beast, dude. It was it was honestly just disgusting. I should have been able to survive, but it was it was disgusting. I probably should have gotten the run earlier, but I did not. Well, I got hit on the you know, like the one that's basically undodgeable from mid range. Like you either have to be really far, or really close. I got hit on that, but like what? And like it was the string of attacks that came before that, which put me in a really bad position and just completely fucked me up. Like you, you honestly need to watch like <laughs> the whole, the whole part after the scripted opening, and it was just like I, I mean. Can't believe the RNG I got, but whatever. Yeah, Bloodhound step would dodge those probably. Yeah, it's true. I feel like it wouldn't be worth it to get Bloodhound step just for that, but like posi maybe, positioning maybe makes that I'll give you the best fine but I, it just the combination put me in a bad spot and i was mid-range and i tried to get out but i wasn't fast enough can't remember exactly how it all happened but uh daddy mott thanks for the 10 month prime resub dude i appreciate it yeah just like the whole sequence that i got was just kind of gross man like point blank, he did the he did those like projectile attacks, like the projectile rain attacks twice when I was in close, and then it forced me far away. It's really bad. Cause Elden Beast isn't complicated on this at all. Like he's he's a really a, a very simple boss, but it's only when you start getting all that bullshit that he becomes kind of a problem. And that was the worst I've ever seen it. Now we have to spend a couple extra hours getting the run. I'm going to go to the bathroom, you guys. Be right back. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment.
Okay. <clears throat> First place you had quite a few epic mauled moments. <laughs> As there should be on a first playthrough, to be fair. Yeah, I mean, it gets to a certain point when you're doing like challenge runs and stuff, there's just... Maybe it's just not the kind of person I am, but... Like, I couldn't really see myself ever raging at something, even when we get totally fucking scammed. Like, and I don't even mean, like, the hits I've taken today, because all the hits I've taken today were avoidable, and I could have avoided it, but... Like, even when I get totally memed, it's not like, I mean... What am I even doing, man? Why did I come back here already? Just, I don't know. I've been doing these runs for a long time, so I don't think there's anything that could, like, throw me off. Yeah, Croak, it really is annoying. What's up, Grover? We need to be blessed by Robin Pecknold on this run, you guys. Maybe he'll show up. He'll take a moment for, from preparing from the grant for the Grammys and he'll swing by. What am I even smoking, dude? <laughs> Imagine I like walk down there. It's okay. I could. I probably could have just fast traveled, but gotta get the fast travel uh, muscle memory. When I'm falling, fast travel. Because you can do that. Ah, welcome. Dear Cast. Welcome, you Cast. Please. I'm angry. Yeah, it's the Godric Great Rune that heals you. I don't think the other Great Runes heal you like that. Oh, is it? Oh, is it the rune arc? Oh, interesting. Huh. That's so annoying, though, yeah. It's really powerful for, like, a first playthrough, though. You just fucking quit out, and you're already healing. It's not that much health, I guess, but... You also get some FP back, I think. Or do you not? I think you do get FP back. Maybe you, maybe you don't. I don't know. Could be wrong. Hopefully they, they, they should patch that. Like, I feel like they're going to patch that. That is definitely something that they would patch. So. Like, it would be nice for speedrunners, though, I guess, right? Like, you're, you know, you're getting ganked by mobs. You just quit out and you're healed up a bit, little bit. But screw the speedrunners, dude. Who cares about speedruns anyways, man? Well, with all the fucking zips and stuff. I actually haven't watched it, but I saw th this title. Like, are they actually consistent to do, or is it just a total meme? Okay, I was supposed to go back now. Yeah, it seems like something 
Like something like that, if it's not consistent, then it's just a total absolute meme. Like it seems it seems horrible to run, but I don't know. <laughs> But if it was consistent, then it would be really cool. Like, it, it sort of reminds me of the uh, DS3 bow running kind of stuff. But, but like, I don't know. Easier to set up, I guess, but maybe just as annoying to do. Like, because imagine if bow running in Dark Souls 3 speedruns was a thing. Like, everybody would fucking hate that shit. Because it's, it's so, like, annoying to do. Periwalk tier? Really? Oh. I mean, if it's consistent, then that's cool, but... Hardware-based? No idea, but probably. Seems like the sort of thing that would be. Like, lower FPS is equals easier, maybe. I wonder what spaghetti code causes that to happen. Like, that's just... Oh my god. So insane. He's a script? Like, by script, you mean like a macro? That would not be allowed, I would assume. Like, using, using stuff like that on runs is not really fair play. Zips is like a meme where you can kind of walk. I, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it, but basically you get... Like, the reason it's called Zip is because you get launched, like, really far sometimes. Yeah, like, you just, you just like, basically teleport. <laughs> it's so bad. I mean, actually, I don't know the official rules for speedrunning stuff. Like, I wonder if even remapping a button on your controller is fine. I, I'd imagine it is fine, but... Like, similar to what I do for, like, toggling sprint and stuff. The burrito. I mean, I, I guess, right? Yeah, fully, maybe. Like, it's... Wouldn't be a hard thing to not know that somebody's doing. The only way you could know... Like, say, say there's, like, a really hard skip that requires, like, some really precise inputs or something. And then somebody uses a macro where they simply just like record it on a, a software like ReWASD, for example. Like, how could you even know except by just watching their consistency on it long term? Right? Like, there's not really any other way to know, I don't think. Because I could make a macro that would show up on the controller on my screen and all that stuff. And it would look like I was doing it, but I might not actually be doing it. So I think the only way you could really tell is by trying to see if they make it every single time which like i don't know i don't know i'm not a, a speed run moderator or something or verifier i guess maybe i should try the bleed on the dagger But we really need to figure out a way to take this out of our run. If I don't get it today somehow, then I will for sure.
require a hand cam. Yeah, I could see that. There's, a, there's like, there's always ways to cheat, I feel like. In so many games where there's, like, speed running or challenge running or... Uh, Dragon, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Like, I was watching, uh, I think, like, a Carl Jobs video on some dude who, like, fucking faked Guitar Hero for a long time. Yeah, PvP as well, but I guess in PvP, it's way more... Like, there's not, like, some official group for it. Oh, I guess actually in tournaments. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. I was thinking just, like, straight up normal PvP, but in tournaments, yeah, I could definitely see that. Someone, like, macroing these, like, crazy swaps or something. I actually saw uh, Carl Jobs in, like, the Hitless Discord asking about Elden Ring Hitless runs. He's wondering if anyone has done like a fucking glitchless no hit run yet. <laughs> like, okay. All right, Carl, what do you mean by that, dude? The fuck are you talking about? Guess my run's not good enough for you. I'm gonna get snubbed out of another Carl Jobs video, dude, for sure talks about like the hardest challenge runs don't get mentioned now he's gonna do like elden ring hitless runs and he's gonna get snubbed man for sure <laughs> like yeah this guy did the run really quickly but he also fucking glitched radagon and he's a faker yeah knight's resolve and determination. <laughs> yeah, and he would have gotten it except he died to Scion. Rip, rip the potential clout, dude. He's bad, man. Maybe, maybe I'll get a shout out from Robin Pecknell that is next, like, Fleet Fox's show, dude. It's like, yeah, follow this guy. I don't know what game he's playing or, like, nobody, no, none of you will know what game he's playing or what he's even doing, but he has good playlists, so. <laughs> At the Grammys, when he wins his Grammy in a few, in like a week from now. Actually, I, I still can't get over that he was in my chat, man. So, like, it was fucking insane. And he knew what he, like, even more surprising was that, like, he was, he was talking a lot of stuff about the game. That, like, he knows a lot about the game, man. Like, it's just, it's just, like, two worlds that I would not expect to come together at all. He's asking, like, what patch GDQ will be on. It's like, wait, what? Like, these are some sophisticated questions, man. It's insane. The guy's a fucking genius at everything. Um, Robin Pecknold, like, last week came into my chat because he saw that I was playing his music during my no-hit run. And he decided to pop by, <laughs> I guess. And I was so fun. Like, I literally for half an hour, I thought someone was just trolling me. I thought, like, Kaza was on an alt account, like, trying to troll me, and I was like, yeah, that's not real for sure. And then he was, like, persistent. He's like, yeah, it's, I, I wrote this song and stuff that you're playing on your stream. And I'm like, no way, dude. And then he joined the Discord and, like, sent a picture, and I'm like, that's photo. That's got to be Photoshopped. <laughs> and then he sent a video, and I was like, holy fuck, man. In my stream. Like, almost every single song that he's written that is available on Spotify is in my playlist. 
Almost. And then he, he was talking about Elden Ring, like he, he loves the game, he's been playing, he's on NG Plus 2, and asking about speedrunning stuff, I'm like, wow, like he's into the game. It's so, like, it's just so unexpected, man. My favorite musician? He's definitely one of them, like, maybe. Over the past few years, I probably listened to his music the most. Bit of a man crush? Oh, 100%, dude. Are you kidding me? All because of my insane clickbait title on my YouTube video. I am Tani. Raya spoke a warrior. Perhaps you will you join? Why accept? Rise with interest. Now you belong. The drawing room. Like just, sure just pay attention to the top left. See how many Fleet Foxes songs like end up playing. Just like all the time. Yeah, the insane like Twitter farming and stuff. I, 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 yeah. Gotta, gotta farm some more Twitter, dude. Maybe after I get this run, I can farm. Everyone follow my Twitter, dude, so I can farm more. Yeah, imagine 102 not counting. <laughs> yeah, this run is too easy by my standards, so I will simply just say that it doesn't count. Even though you no-hit the game on a valid patch of the game. How did I simply not put that on there? Oh, took a lot more damage there that time. Double heal it. I think sometimes like the quick steps align with the lava hits and like you don't take as much uh as much damage. Maybe. Like, I think you can iframe it. You play war robots but not getting on Twitter. Honestly, that's a very reasonable thing to do. Last time, this guy fucking aggroed to me somehow. I meant to go here, I guess.
Uh, not too bad, Eevee. I, did you see that I got to Elden Beast, or were you not there for that? Can't remember. Yeah, I fucking got hit on Elden Beast, though. Somehow. Totally. With a normal roll. Pretty unlucky. By pretty unlucky, I mean like you could do several several hundred tries on the boss and never see stuff like that. Up, sower. Well, I took you no matter. Lay out your arms. Then. So yeah, that, that kind of sucked. <laughs> oh, and I didn't get Flame of Red Mane yet. You total moron, man. What am I even doing? And yeah, dude, I, I was asking Robin. I was like, dude, when's your, wh where were you born? <laughs> oh man if i had like if i had any suspicion that it was real th that he was like actually in my chat there's no fucking way i would ask him something like that but i was i was like yeah there's uh, this is some fucking this is like somebody trolling me <laughs> like, imagine asking him where he's born, dude. And then he immediately answers, and I'm like, oh, shit. That was really fast. Like, I actually somehow know. I think I just, like, read it somewhere. <laughs> God, what a fucking disaster. Yeah, and then, like, Hemlocks is, like... Hemlocks is like, send a pic in the Discord as proof. Like, don't make the man join the Discord, dude. And then he did, and, <laughs> and then he sent a picture. Oh my god. Yeah, and then he sent a video too. And I save I saved them both so fast. <laughs> yeah, he's officially part of the idiot club. Yeah, that's pretty fucking cool, dude. And uh, literally like three Fleet Foxes songs playing in a row. Insane. Yeah, basically, Soulsmate. That's basically what it was. I was so... I was definitely not believing him. How could... You can't... You can't blame me, though, dude. You can't blame me for that. There's been so many times where, like, someone makes, like, an alt account just to troll or something. Or maybe not a lot of times, but it's happened enough where that's what I expected. Uh, where are we going now? But then, like, at a certain point, I should have just realized that it was, like, way too... Like, unrealistic to be a troll, well, you know? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yeah, 10 Cosmo songs in a row. Yeah. I don't have to go to the bathroom again, dude. Well, and, and then I asked them, like, before I realized it was real, I'm like, let me be in your next album. <laughs> He's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's probably the best one, dude. God, that's so embarrassing, man. The guest appearance, dude. The collab. Start my music career. I'm going to reset on every hit, Waffle. I got to the final boss today, and I got hit, and I immediately reset. Bathed in rays of gold. <sighs> oh my god, another... <laughs> I swear I'm not doing this intentionally. Just, it's, it's the RNG. It's the Spotify playlist RNG. Like five in a row. Jimmy Kimball. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to go on that fucking guy's show, dude. Definitely the type of place I'd want to go. I'd love to be on a, on a late night talk show. Yeah, I, I got bad RNG on Elden Beast on one of the fights. It was devastating. And then like fucking nobody knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do know hit runs. He's like, what's a hit? It's like, uh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Are glitches allowed in your run? Uh, I mean, kind of, but at the same time, not really, but I don't know. <laughs> do you do your runs melee only? Well, I mean, I kind of do, but then I also use the bow sometimes, so I, I don't know. Maybe. Thanks, uh, Raiden. Yeah, I did no hit in the game like two weeks ago. And then I spent a week routing all remembrances no hit, and then the patch came out. <laughs> so, so basically that whole week was spent routing for no reason, and, and then I started routing this any percent. Uh, Bernie, thanks for the good luck, dude. I don't even know what that is, Ozzy. Oh, oh yes, actually. Yeah, I was planning on doing that. I was also doing the skip to the, the dagger for the whatever quest line. I forget what it's called. 
Oh my god, I have to go to the bathroom again, dude. What's going on here? Yeah, a lot of people told me that, Souls Mate. Like, a lot of people were asking me questions about the kills I was using and stuff. <laughs> and then, oh, I guess it's nerfed now. Yeah, I'm getting old, man. God, okay, I should go before this boss. I forgot to get the short bow, obviously. Oh, wait, I, I guess we're not going to use it, though, right? Okay, maybe I'll go after this boss. Just got to hurry up. It's probably going to be harder than DS3 bosses, actually. Like, there's a lot of fucking bosses. There's like 30 bosses on that run. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> Guess I'm just drinking a lot of water or something. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. That was just... I just, like, unplugged my keyboard for a second. Alright, well, we're gonna try this without... Like, we're gonna try this run without the short bow, I guess. Literally just God's can duo. That's it. But you do need the barrage. Like the barrage is is big. Definitely want that extra speed.
Yeah, yeah. Those may fucking walk in and get instantly like pulverized. Oh yeah, DS2 lava man is. You don't have any fire resist. You are gonna get fucking melted. But if you have high fire resistance, you literally take like no damage from it, so. Purchase arrows? Uh, for what? Arrows don't distract the same as Kukri's do. Like, Kukri's make more noise, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, remember, do you guys remember that stream I was testing out for like the NG to NG plus seven no death run in DS2? I was testing out like what armor does for certain bosses. Like I go into Rotten on like NG plus seven naked and I like take a hit. I'm like, okay, this is how much damage I take naked on NG plus seven. And then I put on Havel's armor and I take probably 5% less damage than naked. It's like, dude, what the hell is going on here? But then, like, for elemental hits, if you stack up your elemental resistance, then you're going to take, like, no damage from things. It's so... It's so bizarre. But I still remember that. I Like, I couldn't believe it, dude. Pavel's armor versus naked in DS2, and the difference is almost nothing. Is two skulls in here? I honestly have no idea. And like, I, I always wondered on DS2, like all boss speedruns, why they never wore armor. And, and then I was like, oh, I understand now. It does basically nothing. before I get this run and then I get snubbed out of the Carl Jobs video because he considers this a glitch. Yeah, I would have mentioned it, but kind of glitches out right card, so still waiting. I'm actually not sure if anybody's done a run yet. Like maybe Gray's run didn't sh like fully AI break uh, Radagon, but I'm not sure if anyone's done a run yet where they haven't done like at least some amount of Radagon AI breaking. World's first no hit run without Radagon AI break in the title. Yeah, I know they use it because they're like they're doing sorcery routes and stuff, but I think Nunse might have not done it. I'm not sure. But yeah, it, like there's kind of no reason to not use it because it makes the hardest boss in the game into not even a boss. I just wanted to not use it on this run. Just I don't know. Just because. Just because I can. You, you, to break his AI, you literally just walk up to him, Soulsmate. That's it. You just walk up to him. 
And then there's certain, like, ways of dealing damage to him. Like, certain spells can hit him without him aggroing and, like, certain melee attacks as well. And he just doesn't aggro. And he just sits there the whole fight. Very similar to, like, a uh, Prince's AI break. And, of course, like, AI breaks like that are, are allowed for hitless. Like... I'm trying to think if they've never not been allowed. Doesn't attack for three or four seconds. Yeah, it could, could be. It's it's kind of in the same tier as like a twin princess thing, I'd say. Like fog gate, AI break, or you know, standing behind him. Except it's just like ten times easier to do. But I, I would assume they're gonna patch that. I don't know. I kinda hope so though, because <laughs> I don't know. Pretty busted. Especially when he's like the hardest boss in the game. Or at least in the any percent. Fog gate? I don't know. I'm not I wouldn't use them, but basically the same thing, so. What causes? I mean I don't know exactly, but it, it has to do with using the the spirit summons or whatever. I've never done it myself though, so I don't know. Yeah, I, I get I get rot breath literally just for fire giant phase two. Nothing else. It's the only spell I use in the run, and I use it one time. I kind of didn't want to use spells as much as I could, but it, it makes fire giant so much better. So. I'm... Yeah, I mean, well, Radagon is a glitch as well, but it's not like no hit runs are glitchless, right? Like glitches have been allowed in no hit runs for a long time. It's just, it's. Don't even try to understand the rules, because it's just completely arbitrary. Most no-hit rules just come up to what people think makes sense, or what, what's convenient for runs, or whatever. No major glitches, but then, I mean, that means nothing still. You have to define what a major glitch is. It's very arbitrary, and it, it, it has to be, like, it's just how it is. But people can just use whatever they want on the runs. I don't really care. Reason behind zipping when blocking? Literally, I have no, no fucking idea. I have not even the slightest clue. Miyazaki and the rulemaking? Well, that would be interesting if that actually did happen. And you know what? I wouldn't even be surprised at this point if Miyazaki shows up in my chat one day because fucking Robin showed up in my chat, so... Probably more likely that Miyazaki comes into my chat than... Robin Pecknell, dude. And when he, when he finally does, I'll ask him. I'll be like, what should be allowed in a no-hit run? And he'd probably just say none of the glitches or something. Robin Pecknell is the singer for Fleet Foxes and, like, the main man. That'd actually be so cool if fucking Miyazaki was in on the world discussions. Because he, I mean, if he said something, it, that's, like, that's, that would be the law. Next thing you know, someone's going to come troll me with a Hidetaka Miyazaki account. But it's not going to work because I'll ask you to send pics in the Discord and then... <laughs> I know it's going to be fake. No hit glitchless. But like, what about... Like, the thing is, when, when people say no major glitches and like minor glitches are allowed, like there's some glitches that are just simply convenience things that make no, no difference overall on the run. Something like Estus Cancel. Like, I, I guess it does make a difference, but it's not like... It's not giving you a, a huge advantage or something like that. Even though it is good and it is a glitch, it's just not... Like, that's... Oh. Are you fucking kidding? Nice rock, bro. Man, if I die because of this somehow...
I'm gonna be a little upset. I actually might die. Maybe I should have. Let's see. Okay, this looks normal. Yeah, I was just worried his like initial opening sequence was gonna be different because he already like aggroed or something. Breaking boss AI. Yeah, like, so, like, let's just say that AI breaks on bosses aren't allowed. Like, where do you draw the line? Because Twin Princes on DS3, the AI, the AI, I guess, glitch that people use on Twin Princes, almost everybody uses it in DS3 runs. Like, especially the multi-game runners. Is that, would that be allowed on runs? You know, because it's clearly not intended. And then, it's just, where do you draw the line there? And also, a lot of people use it on runs, like, to make the transition safe, right? Like, you don't do the whole fight on the fog gate, but you, you do the transition on it. Like, would that be allowed? Because you're kind of manipulating the AI to not do it? Like, is that a glitch? Or is that just some, like, AI manipulation? But, like, where's the line drawn? Boss does nothing. My but like, why is that even different though? You're forcing the boss into like I wish you a sequence that it can't get out of. Uh, I don't know. Like where, where's the line drawn? Like what about, what about, uh, Corrupted Monk, the first monk in Sekiro. Like, is that is that a, a glitch that you can, you know, death blow the boss like that without the boss aggroing? Or is that like some manipulation? I don't fucking know. Like, should you be allowed to do that? Because I would, I, I would honestly put that in the same tier as like Radagon, you know, very similar. You, you make the boss not aggro to you or whatever, and then, and then you can just kill the boss, like just straight up. No, of course, like, that's what I'm saying. You have to draw the line somewhere. And it's not, it's not, like, so easy. Because people will always disagree. One way or the other. Yeah, the, the boss skip, honestly, I'm I'm totally fine with it. Um Like one thing that you also have to consider too when you're coming up with like rules and, and stuff, like what should be allowed is not just like on principle what should happen. Like okay, a glitch is not allowed, for example. You have to actually look at it in the context of runs. And Gideon, nobody wants to fight him, so I'm totally fine with just people skipping him because he's a kind of a trash boss and it makes the runs more consistent, especially when you're doing like low damage runs or something. I think my game's breaking. None of the textures are loaded in properly. But it's also, it's like generally not out of bounds are not really allowed in no hit runs or they have been for team hits for a while. But in an open world game, it's not so easy to determine that. Like sure, most people would say that's out of bounds, but you're simply just jumping up. Like, I, I don't know. And you're doing a sequence break. Mike, dude, I, I need to like quit out or something, you guys. Oh my God. I have to quit out.
Yeah, there's enemies chasing, but I have to. I'm pretty sure my game is dying. <laughs> Watch this put, put me in like the middle of enemies or something. Or my game's just going to crash. Okay, my game's crashing here. Big shocker there. Invalid team hitless run. Quit out while enemies are aggroed. <laughs> Except not really, because I couldn't even get into the boss room because there was a big fucking wall there. <laughs> That'd actually be an interesting, like, dilemma if someone submitted a run with that. <laughs> yeah, you quit out, so your run's not valid, even though you would have certainly died if you just sat there and did nothing while you waited for your game to crash. What's up, Eden? To be fair, though, in a lot of speed runs, if, if that happens, like if your game crashes or something, that's just invalid run. Okay, please don't put me in a big crowd of enemies or something stupid like that. Okay, I gotta set up Red Feather again. Pretty standard fight, I'd say. Uh, you skip Gideon by jumping on a tree branch, and then you just get on top of the boss arena. Yeah, like, it's it's pretty simple. It's, a, it's not, like, the easiest skip to do, but... <clears throat> I mean, it's honestly, like, basically equivalent of just, like, tree jumping or something. Be done in this version? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. Good question. Oh, it's different. That's weird. No hit the fastest, maybe. Not sure how interesting that would be in this game, but... <laughs>
Ah, nice. See, sometimes we get the proc before, sometimes we don't. Doesn't really matter either way, though. Yeah, time for the best boss in the in the history of gaming. Hello again. Allow me. You are unprevented. The thorn, the husk, the only way, and become my purpose. So I'd like to the flame then and guide. Shall I to let my hand share them with me? Your thorn. Being able to see the boss. Yeah. I'm at like 125 right now or something, it said. Yeah. This is not a fast route, that's for sure. If, if I could skip that dragon shrine stuff, like... This would be about at about like an hour 10 or so by this point, which would actually be much more reasonable. Ah, it just, it feels like such a waste, dude. I'm literally getting the dragon breath for one, literally one instance of casting it on one boss. Is that one hour? I highly doubt that actually. I don't think so. Like open world games are just slower. But maybe. It's possible. Can this guy turn around or what? It's possible. Yeah, after this run, I was actually going to try to, like, get a different way of doing it. I guess I use it here, but this is not necessary, really. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be like the first place to start when looking to optimize this run. Is <clears throat> eliminate the dragon breath. Not that dragon halberd would be the fastest route at all to use in this game, but just for like a route that's using it. Any percent went, went down 25? Well... It's, it's hard to say because, like, the first runs were probably pretty garbage, you know? Like, sure, new strats were found and stuff, but, like, what ends up happening a lot of times with speedruns is, like, people will just do runs early just to, you know, get the YouTube clickbait or something without actually being, like, well-practiced on a lot of stuff. It's just kind of what happens every time. And then, from there, like, so it's basically, I'm saying the number's inflated a lot of times. For like the first speed run records. Yeah, no hit could be optimized a lot too, but oh my god, that was actually <laughs> kind of close. Yeah, with speed runs, it's a bit different though because. What speeds up the runs at this point is just glitches that make the run faster or skips or whatever, but in no hit, like, it's not really... In no hit, the length of the run always comes down to the route, basically. You can save more time by doing, like, riskier strats in certain, strat uh, in certain sections and stuff, but, like, most of the time, it just depends on what route you're using. And like here, for example, like just to save a few, like maybe 30 seconds or so, I could sneak or I could just sprint through here. 
If I was looking to be faster, I could do that. And that would save like 30 seconds or so. But on no hit, like you can often save several minutes by just removing stuff from your run. Like just like I was talking about with the dragon spell. If I remove that from my run, that would be 15 to 20 minutes saved because I'm not killing the big dragon. I'm not running all the way to the dragon like temple or whatever. Like that'd be a big, big time save. It just comes down to like routing and stuff. And I definitely think we could remove it and save time, but I'm not, I don't know like what the alternative would be because Fire Giant Phase 2 is really miserable without it. <laughs> well, yeah, well, it just depends if there's like a better way of doing it, Max, right? Like... If there's a way that I could not do that 15 minute setup for that spell, but still have a reasonably fast phase two, like the Moonveil fights actually for that, for Fire Giant are like, you can really eliminate a lot of his HP before he could do anything in phase two. Or maybe there's like some stagger setup that I could be doing on this that I haven't tested out. That would allow me, allow me to eliminate a lot of his HP, but He's got so much health that there's almost no way that you could just kill him straight up. Uh, songs in the top left. And I think, I think honestly, something as simple as just using a spell for Fire Giant Phase 2 would speed up our run a lot. Like, using some ranged spell. Is your question? Uh, when was it? I definitely didn't. And that's why, like, Sword of Night and Flame on Fire Giant was so fucking nice, dude. You just had a scripted kill every time. Maybe. Oh, maybe you're right. I didn't pick up the bow. I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, that's fine. I'll just have to go get it. Thanks for reminding me, though. This is going totally would have gotten the Gonska duo and been like, oh, shit, you know, I don't have the bow. Uh, Taji, thanks for the 11-month Prime sub. And the good luck. Throw salute pod in the center. Um... I mean, I guess you theoretically could, but it, it you wouldn't really, I don't think you'd sleep them that consistently unless they weren't aggroed to you and they just like heard the pot, which you can't really do without like the hidden body of the game or whatever. Like I've seen some people use a setup where they use that like hidden body, Ash of War, whatever it is. And you can actually tr like trigger the boss to spawn without aggroing them, without hiding behind a pillar. So, was calling Reddit. Well, like, ha was it using that that Ash of War, or was it not? And then there's, I guess, there's also the risk if you're doing that of like accidentally, like when I'm killing one of them, accidentally hitting the other one and waking them up, which would be really bad. Like, it's best if they have a bit of distance between each other. Yeah, I guess, I mean, maybe I could, but I, I highly doubt that would work every time. Especially because the other, like, the small dude loves to sidestep at the start of the fight. Like, that kill might have just been a, a simple case of somebody grinding the opening until it worked and then did the kill. Yeah, the only way that could work is I've noticed like what my setup relies on is that or it's the fact that when when you're pretty close to the like little godskin guy, the skinny one, he doesn't really sidestep. He'll sidestep every time from range though, like from really far away, it seems. But from in close he just doesn't, and that's why the setup that I've been using works. Because I'm I I go really close and I'm close enough where he just won't sidestep, so... Or at least I have never seen him sidestep yet. It's maybe possible, but...
Yeah, it's definitely a lot better if you can sleep the skinny one first because using arrows on the skinny dude to try to sleep him is a total nightmare. Just like spamming sidestep, man. And I'll, I only get 10 sleep arrows in this run, so it's not like I, I can afford to miss many. Especially if in phase two he decides that he wants to fucking... Whoa, why are you over... I don't understand. Can someone explain to me how this enemy spawns in the game? Like, what determines where he is and where he's facing? He's doing his frost attacks. Better not fucking reach me, man. Like, why does he just randomly decide, okay, I'm going to spawn facing the wrong direction and way off to the side? I just don't understand. Like, I thought someone said he spawned in front of you or something, but I don't think that's entirely true. The sun is in relation to Mercury. Okay, that makes sense. Let me just do that calculation really fast before we run onto the frozen lake. Yeah, I really don't understand how he spawns in. I don't think it's random. It could be that there's like certain zones or something like that. I don't know. Doesn't make sense to me. Same coding as, as Horsefuck Valley. Like, I would assume that if you ran the exact same path every time, he would always spawn in the same spot. I would assume. But I haven't, like, tested that out enough. Alright, let's make sure to go get the short bow once we hit this grace up here. Or I guess I can do it after Fire Giant. say I really don't like this positioning. Oh my god.
insane timing. <clears throat> the terrain should be okay. Definitely got the consistency, dude. Like, I've done four runs. This is the fourth run today. One run, I died to falling because I'm an idiot in Volcano Manor. But the other three runs have made it at least past Fire Giant. So, just should be able to get this pretty soon here. What's up, Gray? Oh, 100% I agree. Such an absolute trash boss. I get one spell set up just for him, and then I don't I don't use it for the rest of the run. It takes like 12 minutes to get set up. Right, let me just go get the uh the bow that I forgot. Re yeah, I'll reset if I get hit. Ice Breath, I just have it, because why not, I guess. I get, like, five dragon hearts from that big dragon, so I just, like, buy all of them. Can anyone confirm if the cheese has been patched or not for Fire Giant, like, making him fall down? Because I've heard a number of people say that it's been patched. But then, I somebody said they that one of their friends did it recently, but, I like, obviously, it's not super... <laughs> Super reliable, but what do you need? I don't want any trouble. Okay, it has. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's unfortunate because I would actually way more consider doing it if it um if it still existed in the game because it's just such a trash fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Waffle. I have long this world and death. Are you pro to commit? Very well. Let my hand. I love streaming for eight hours and only doing four runs, man. Awesome. Just the type of run this is in this game. Super consistent, and then the late game's hard, and that's like the only possible place to get hit, essentially, is at the end of the run. I already grabbed the bow. No, DS2 is consistent the whole time, though. Well, I mean, this should be as well, but it's just that, like, the actual hard stuff is right at the end of the run. DS2 just doesn't have any hard stuff anywhere. This game's got, like, Radagon, Elden Beast with the insane memes, Horror Lou is pretty tricky sometimes. 
Malaketh can be tricky sometimes too, maybe. But then like the whole first part of the run is actually just like trivial. DS2 is 100% consistent on Congregation if you decide to go that row. But you could also just not go that row. Congregation, if you take time to learn the proper fight on Congregation, like you kill that boss in literally 10 seconds every time. Even on even on SL1, you still do that. It's just most people don't really know about the proper kill, so probably why you don't see it very often. Uh, if you watch, one of my runs will definitely have it in it. Essentially, the strat is you you run in the fight, you bait out some attack from Magus, and then. You know, you... I, it's hard to explain. But you bait out an attack, you go and you kill one of the priests, and then you bait out an attack again, and then you throw a skull, and then you just kill... Actually, sorry, you kill the second priest, and then you throw a skull, and then you just kill Magus while all the guys are going after the skull, and then you just finish everybody off. It's the speedrun strat, and it's... Totally consistent. There's a few variations on it, I guess, but... Ivory? Ivory King is consistent, though, but... Yeah, you're right. Ivory King sucks. I'm talking more for, like, any percent. You could also just do Ivory King very early in the run, if you wanted to. Like, most runs I did, Ivory King was, like, halfway through the run. Well, yeah, I mean, Ivory King's a hard boss, like, but yeah, if it was just the boss, it'd be a lot more manageable. He's a pretty hard boss, though, to be fair. Probably the hardest boss in Dark Souls 2, I'd say. Really great positioning. But you really want to make sure that you don't shoot an extra sleep arrow because if you do, the boss wakes up and and then you're screwed basically. But wow, this is really far away. This is, might be tough. No fucking way, dude. I mean, let's see if I can do something about this. That's just ridiculous. But yeah, it's just based on that positioning there. Fuck off. And if I like bone out, this is really scuffed. So if I can do something else. Very tempted to try to damage this other one. Because if I had enough time, I could theoretically 
theoretically kill. And this is where range is huge. If I had Reduvia, if I had Moonveil, it wouldn't be so bad. Wow. If I can proc rot on the other one. This girl's gonna go to phase two as well. Ah, man, I can't believe this. And yeah, it's just it's simply because we were just too far away there, and then got pretty unlucky with and proc it. Pretty unlucky too with uh, the boss deciding to summon right as we get the sleep off. Insane salvage, dude. I guess I don't. I was going to rest to get some more FP, but I don't think we really need it. God, I fucking hate when scuff shit is in my run. Definitely boning out though, or not boning out was the right call there. We actually had a much better situation than the last time that that fight got scuffed, but that was just simply positioning, right? Like I needed to make sure that sleep is closer to the center so that I can throw the sleep pot in a better position. But rot breath coming in clutch, I guess. Without rock, like without rot breath, I don't even know how you would win that. Like melee only. Like I really don't know. Yeah, the the congregation kill is a hundred percent worth learning. It's so much easier than like trying to play it like a deacon's fight or something. The fatty only rolls over certain pillars and it's due to just terrain. Like there's some like sand piles before some of the pillars. That's something I learned about, you know, or I learned when I was doing the other route. Because I was fighting Godskin Duo with like shooting through the pillars, so it was actually really important to know that. 
Yeah, it's, it's only in certain positions, and I actually do know them, so. Fortunately. No, it's not, not, shouldn't be the angle. It's the, it's the, like, you'll see some of the pillars have, like, sand in front of them. Nerves of titanium. I've already been here three times today, so. Like, how, how, like, getting runs works is the first few times you get near the end, you start to feel maybe something, but <laughs> it's literally my third time to this split today. Fighting Gundir. <laughs> yeah, Udex Gundir. Insane no hit run ender. Huge pressure. Yeah, I mean, if it's Trilogy, obviously that's different, though. Not just your standard any percent opening boss. I mean, when I did all achievements, It took me longer than that, Ringers, actually. Like, it was my first Souls game. Gundyr took me a long fucking time to beat. Boss, you fight the most? I mean, maybe on runs, but nobody's practicing Gundyr more than other bosses, right? Literally nobody on this planet is doing that. Wolf ring? Farming. Just straight up farming. When I did all achievements DS3 no hit, I actually farmed everything. Which I shouldn't have done, but. Learned that lesson. <laughs> Spent literally like 11 hours farming. Um, okay. I really scuffed Malekith last time, so hopefully this goes better. Because my my I was just not confident on like my spacing and stuff.
I don't, Abbas. Thou who approaches destined death, I will not have you stolen from me again. Guess we're getting this RNG. I'm slow again here. Just kidding. That's how it should be going. Yeah, that's a that's a 100% stagger loop in phase two. He just can't get out of that. Yeah, that was that was much cleaner. Although my first out space on on phase one, I was a bit slow. The second one was perfect though. The parallax. Yeah, it was actually really funny. This in one of his streams recently, he was like absolutely shitting on PvP players <laughs> because he's saying like they get all the fucking glitches patched. <laughs> He's like, yeah, people are already using the fucking like horse flying shit and or, or the horse shit in PvP so they can just run around from people and they're gonna patch it because of that or something. It's pretty funny. To become Elden Lord. What a sad state of affairs. I commend your spirit, but alas. I know in my bones. A tarnished cannot become a lord. All right, now the run actually starts. You, a man cannot kill a god. Takes two hours to actually start this run. Uh, he hasn't because, like, I think he can't do it until he does that debuff, right? Like, I've only seen him, uh, like, do the debuff as an opening. But, yeah, like, after the debuff, then, yeah, I've seen him swing, for sure. But, yeah, I, I don't know. I, like, maybe he can just swing there. I honestly don't know. We'll find out one time.
All right, real boss time. All right, nice. Getting that stagger there is really good. Like, I didn't do the optimal punish, but... My dad was asking what I want out of my pizza. I had to respond. <laughs> Alright, time for the hardest boss in the run. Again. We believe Gino Evie also going. Uh Evie, thanks for the hundred bits.
Oh my god. There we go, dude. <laughs> oh my god, he fucking get, trying to give me a heart attack, man. Yes, Kratz. <laughs> GG. Oh boy. He really fucking tried to troll me again, dude. He really tried it. Oh boy. Yeah, and I, I messed up. I should have I should have gone in like a, a close fire breath like that. You you can go behind him. Oh but... my god. Dude, oh, my instinct is just to so run away, and I, I don't know how I didn't that get clipped. That must have so been so shit. fucking close, that man. Is such a garbage. All right, oh, GG, my though. God. Good shit. <sighs> another, another run we get in one day of attempts, dude. Not fucking bad, man. Did four runs today, three of which got oh, past Godskin Duo, God, actually. Oh, my God, dude. That's so shit. And yeah, and dude, that, that is like, so I guess I wasn't speaking, shit. but that Radagon that man was fucking insane. That was oh so bad. My God. That was such bad RNG on that Radagon. Like, just spamming spells constantly, but that was nice, man. That was fucking nice, dude. Gotta dedicate this run, you guys, to fucking Robin Pecknell, dude. The legend. Gracing us with his presence a few streams ago. Big shout out, man. You just have maybe, to. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Tell you just have to, man. This is going too far. Of how a tarnished became yeah, that was fucking nice, man. Lord. Rune level one is next. Right there. Maybe, Rune level maybe one. I'll give you the best Across nut the ever. The lands between. Pretty sure this, this was is going too far. Like, <laughs> like not even close to the easiest route I could be using for this I run. But I did want to go with like a more melee based route with not as much range. Even though I did use some range for certain things, but for the majority, it's mostly just melee based, which is pretty good. Yeah. Oh man. Oh my god. Thanks for all the fucking dude, subs, you guys. Hey, let so me read this out shit. here. That is. So uh, shit. Jeff, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Old Sound, thanks for the 5 gifted oh subs, man. My God. Uh, Premier, thanks for the brand maybe, new Prime sub. I appreciate that. I'll give you the best <sighs> nut ever. Make sure I get everybody, dude. Evie, thanks for gifting 5 subs. Baryon, thanks for the 420 bits, dude. You'd love to see it. Cessus, thanks for the, the what, gifted sub. Maybe. Sylvans, maybe thanks for the gifted sub as well. Pixar, thanks, thanks for the 5 ever. gifted subs. I appreciate that. Heisman, thanks as well for the five gifted subs. Far. Watering off as well with the five gifted subs. Thanks so much, you guys. Hell yeah, man. Oh my Hell yeah. god, dude. That's dude, the, the, the so sub shit. alerts are trying to catch up, man. That is so shit. That is such a garbage. Weapon in mind. I, oh Dragon Halberd is, is kind of the first candidate I'd look at. Oh it's very strong. Oh my god, dude. That's Holy so shit. shit. Hearing a lot of posse today, man. That is so <laughs> shit. That is such a garbage. Oh, yeah, thanks for uh, being here, you guys. Oh, uh, Mary, thanks for the, <laughs> the six-month resub. That's so and the GG. Shit. Pigeons, thanks for the brand-new sub. So I appreciate that. Shit. that is such and Ringers, a holy shit, man. Oh, my thanks God. for the 10 gifted subs, dude. Look, I, I'm getting rich off of the runs, you guys, man. This is insane. Time to quit my job. Ah. <laughs> uh. Damn, that was a good run. I, I honestly can't really think of anything that was scuffed on that run, right? Or was there something? Oh, oh fucking Godskin Duo. Godskin Duo was super scuffed, man. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yeah, yeah make sure if you guys got a sub from anybody this who gifted, make far. sure you thank them. GG. 
yeah, I appreciate you guys. Um, so I've been streaming for eight and a half hours. What time maybe, is it? Maybe. Six thirty. I'll give you the it's best. Not, dude, it's freaking early ever. still. I started streaming early, man. Oh yeah, the Godfrey could have. <laughs> yeah, but there's nothing I could have done. I had to quit out. Why don't you use Radagon? Uh, because I'm not a little oh, bitch. Oh my god! No, nah, I'm just kidding. Dude, I, I just I cheesed so him last shit. run I did, and I wanted to that fight him straight up this so time. Shit! That is such a garbage. Oh my god. Yeah, good shit, man. Second, second any percent run in this game. And I'm looking to start routing rune level one next, I think. What happened on Godfrey? Well, my game was just completely bugging out. And all that, like, LODs were there. But none of the actual, like, real textures and stuff. And then my game just crashed, so. Or I had to quit out because I couldn't get in the fog or into the boss arena. <laughs> so I just had to quit out. And there are enemies chasing me, but, it, like, it, it doesn't matter. How many runs have people done? I honestly have no idea. Obviously, Flippy got his run today. I think Gray got his run today as well. Bushido uploaded his run today as well. A few people have gotten runs now at this point. This was, I think, kind of the more, most like melee-based, but I don't know. Could be wrong. It, it actually was the only one that wasn't based off of intelligence, though, I guess. Because I'm a dumb fuck, dude. Obviously. Here we go. Now, now the YouTube commenters are not going to have anything to complain about, except for all the stuff that was wrong on this run, which is like a lot. So looking forward to reading those comments, dude.